There was no trailer. It's gone. When Leonard Skinner pulled up to see if his neighbors were okay, this is what he saw. I know he shouldn't move. She was on the back side of the trailer on, up there in the woods. After help came, the couple was taken to a Tulsa hospital by medical helicopter. Both had severe injuries. She has a broke neck, a fractured eye socket, uh, busted ribs, and I ain't for sure what else, but he's got internal bleeding, got some bad cuts on his arms, punctured a lung, messed up his back. This is where Paul and Pat Reed's home used to be, and this is where it is now. The tongue of the trailer's up there in that tree. You can't tell what it was. You can see just how much of their personal belongings are scattered throughout the area, but neighbors that we talked to say they have quite a bit of damage themselves. The storms moved in at around 9 last night. Electricity flickered, then it started roaring. I said, uh oh. Then it sounded like hail hitting the house, which turned out to be tree limbs. Now the Reeds family is going through what's left of their home, collecting everything that would mean the most to Paul and Pat. Grateful that the couple is still alive. All my life I've lived in this holler, and I have never seen a tornado hit this holler.